an unboxing video for a uh, North Face jacket, the Free Mind. A um, little bit of story behind getting this coat. If you're familiar with REI, um, they kind of make a lot of their own materials, and um, they had the E1 Elements series. Uh, I'm not sure if they renamed it or if it's just you know, the same stuff under a different title, but I uh, had a coat by them for about two years. It lost all of its waterproofing. Uh, it did not really respond to, you know, like Nick Wax or the things that you would wash with it. Um, REI was nice enough, though, and this is the second coat uh, I've actually returned to REI. Um, and uh, they gave me cash back, so we went over to Camp Moore, and uh, for actually a couple dollars less, for a total of $163 in discount, we were able to get this North Face coat. So we're going to go ahead and unbox this and have a look and discuss some of the specs. I'm pretty loyal to North Face myself. I've, everything I've owned from them has lasted for a very long time, and uh, just... They really get a, a, a high score in my book when it comes to style and um, just functionality. Uh, it's definitely not Arcturix or any of those other brands, but or Arcturix, however you pronounce it. But um, it's pretty good stuff. And uh, Cantmore's decent as well as a vendor since they offer a one-year warranty on any other clothing or items you buy. Um, and if after that you've expired or they something's wrong, you can then start using the lifetime warranty of North Face. Uh, I was able to get a medium, thank goodness. Not a very big guy, but here she is. This is a three-ply high vent material. I was a little leery about using high vent. I'm kind of kind of really into Gore-Tex myself. Right? Um, but I read a lot of reviews and everybody said that it's pretty much the same thing and I figured why not, we'll give it a shot, get it on discount. Um, you know, of course if you're not completely satisfied again, you can probably you know, have a certain amount of time to make a return. Okay, here we are with the North Face coat completely unwrapped. Um, the red is a nice, just solid, normal red color. Nothing too weird. Uh, very, very, very regular, which is nice. I'm not crazy about any of the abnormal colors. Um, looks like it's got good, nice, waterproof, welded zippers. One here on the chest, main zipper. Two kind of waist level, which is nice, instead of these weird kind of chest ones that I, see, I have on another coat. Pit zips, and a sleeve compartment. I believe there are some inside. The overall texture of the coat is, is fairly nice. It's got a, you know, it feels kind of firm which is a bit reassuring when it comes to waterproofing. Uh, logo on the back shoulder. I love the hood design for North Face coats. Um, they're not too big when it comes to a bill, you know, but the, you know, they cinch up and they adjust very nicely. Uh, kind of there around the neck, it's got a small draw. And then another pull uh, up here around the head. So I, I've always been a big fan of the hood design for North Face coats. Let's set this down here and see if we can have a look at the inside. Super feels a little firm, stiff. That's I think that's pretty normal for a newer coat. Comes with a bib, it looks like, or you know, kind of a cinch for around your waist when you go uh, skiing or snowboarding. Keep the snow out. You can see on the inside, um, nice taped welded seams. Still feels you know fairly comfortable, but you know, has that nice reassuring kind of stiff texture. I'm sure that kind of gets broken in after a little while of, of use. Uh, this bib cinch around the waist has a little bit of kind of rubber taping or uh, rubber texture to kind of a, kind of stick to you. I'm assuming these snaps are to connect to your uh, snow pants or something like that. Uh, nice design. Good interior pocket again. Small uh, zipper compartment and then kind of just a, a sack pocket. Uh, pretty pleased with the design. Going to take it out today. Hopefully it'll keep raining a little bit and I'll get a really test her out. And uh, we'll come back with the maybe we'll come back with another review. This is the final review of the North Face coat that we've been talking about. Um, I've had a chance for the last about three weeks to use it in a variety of weather and uh, conditions and just have a couple things to say about it since uh, I've actually been wearing it more often. 
Um, first thing, if you're looking for a coat that has the real long extended pit zips, this one might not be the one for you. Uh, they're only about uh, eight inches long or so. Um, doesn't seem to be a real problem for me. Uh, I usually you know, I use pit zips all the time, but um, it didn't really seem to to bother me that they were so much shorter. Um, so they're more in the forearm instead of down the pit and along the side. Uh, usually they'd be about twice that, you know, twice this length. Um, but not not a big deal. Uh, I do enjoy the position of the pockets. It's very nice to have them kind of at your waist instead of way up high sometimes here on your chest, which is kind of an awkward position that, that some uh, coats have been placing them. Uh, but no, I, I really I really enjoy their, their position. Um, it's really nice to have kind of a fleece type material here around your face, uh, right up around your mouth when you zip it up. Um, the front part that does cover your mouth is a little bit skewed to the left, or excuse me, to the right, so it's not asymmetric. If you're looking at it straight on, um, this this kind of goes up to your right side of your mouth, which is okay because then this gives you a nice big broad area that covers your mouth instead of the seam um, right here in your face. Um, so it's kind of kind of something to think about. I do like the design of the hood. I've always liked the North Face hoods. They seem to cinch and just kind of fit uh, the way that you'd like them to instead of having just a huge big bag over your head. Um, they cinch up nice. They they seem to cover you the right amount. The bill isn't too long, which is always a pet peeve of mine with a lot of coats. Uh, just this huge, long, obnoxious bill. And then this thing over time gets all bent and it just starts to look weird. But the North Face coats are shorter and they don't get bent and as tweaked up as much. They just they look a little bit better in, in my opinion. Um, really enjoyed seeing it in the rain and in the snow a little bit. It uh, repels water the way that it should. It's a three-ply anything uh, as advertised. It does it does a, a very nice job. I didn't feel like I was sweating so much um, compared to some of the products by REI. I felt like those ones were just a little bit more stuffy. Um, this one though, I didn't mind it not having an internal zipper or a zipper to zip in a liner usually that goes right along here and here um, I, just, I, I didn't find that I, I minded it as much I didn't uh, I, th I thought at first I would but it, it actually is okay it breathes enough um, you just have a sweater on and it, it's not as though it's moving around all over the place so other than that I would give this coat a final score probably about a an eight and a half or so out of ten it's pretty good especially for the cost um, in this time frame at the end of the winter that uh, you're looking at to get these kinds of things I felt like it was a good deal um, and it, it performs well it's a little on the baggy side but you know if you have kind of a, a down vest or another sweater you're wearing underneath it it should fit it nicely I'm not a very big guy but um, it, it is a little bit little wide but uh, not not too bad so for a medium it's it's just edging on the large size